Hello, this is Dustin Hookstra with AWR. I'd like to discuss some of the general improvements we've made for greater design space exploration in version 13 of AWR. So, um, new to v13 is we've added a few new optimization methods to our suite uh, for circuit optimization. So if you look at the list of optimization methods towards the bottom, you'll see a new one called advanced genetic algorithm and also particle swarm. So these would be worth trying for some of your designs to see if they improve, reduce your optimization, overall optimization time, or get to your cost faster. Uh, another thing we've added are some new synthesis wizards to the tool. So if you look under the wizards category of AWR, you'll see there is something called a component synthesis wizard, which will allow you to choose a different component type, for example, a transformer, a hybrid coupler, a Lang coupler, uh, Wilkinson, you can choose the number of sections, frequency range, your resistances, uh, the type of resistors you use, and then you say to microwave office and it automatically builds the circuit for you, as well as a graph for simulation. Uh, another synthesis wizard that we added to the software is the mixer multiplier synthesis. Very similar to the component synthesis in its setup. Uh, you can choose the component type that you'd like to create, the, di the diode type, and then choose your frequency ranges and say okay, and it will build the circuit for you again, and also create the measurements and graph you need to do the analysis. So you can start very quickly with your designs uh, using these synthesis tools. Another new feature we added was the ability to do independent sweeps, so allowing nested nonlinear tone frequencies. So in this simple example, what we have is a is an amplifier and we have a couple of tones here. And what we've done is we've set up a sweep to sweep the spacing between the two tones. And so once that simulation is complete, you can see what the IMD product looks like right here, the high side and low side versus frequency. And also we can look at our spectrum. And what you'd, what's a little difficult to see here, these are actually two tones that are really close together. But if we start to tune on our F delt here, our spacing between the tones, you can see real-time tuning to see how things are changing. And then, of course, we can tune our frequency, too, where we're moving those tones around. And likewise, in the IMD graph, we can see the effects of changing the frequency and the tone spacing independently. Uh, one thing we now support in version 13 of AWR is 64-bit HSPICE. So if you have larger problems that need to be simulated using HSPICE, you can do that within AWR. With now there's now supporting 64-bit for those larger problems. And lastly, we now have the ability to share, uh, we added a new VSS output file format so you can share VSS data between designs more easily. So for example, if you have an, uh, this antenna design right here and you wanna put that into your, uh, look at your antenna patterns, uh, we now have an output format here. So in output files, we now have this uh, radiation pattern, for example. And now, so you don't have to send a whole EM file and do a recalculation. You can now just share these different files between system, system designers. And that concludes the overview of some of the general improvements for V13 of AWR for greater design space exploration. Thank you.